This is the second part of my year. The second part, it's long. The second part, I didn't see it coming, like, at all. Like, it was amazing. So I was in Mexico, my friend called me and she was like, hey, if we're not doing the road trip in Mexico, let's just do it in Europe. And I was like, why not? Let's just go. I packed my things, I flew to Frankfurt. I was in Frankfurt for a bit and she was finishing her work. So she was like, hey, like, give me a few weeks until I finish my work and then we could go to the road trip. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna stay two weeks in Frankfurt. Like, it's quite nice. But, you know, let's just do something else. Oh wait, I have this application that is called Polar Steps. And I met so many people that have Polar Steps. And my family was like, Anna, you should do an Instagram only of your travels. Or like, you should do this Google Photos only of your travels. And I said, I was like, no, you know? And then I had the idea of downloading Polar Steps. So I'll show it to you. You can see the map of like, where was I? So to Frankfurt and then to Munich and then down to like Garmisch, all these beautiful, amazing like hikes. It was just so beautiful. Like I went to the German Alps. Oh my gosh, guys, if you haven't been to the Alps and you like hiking, like you have to, like it was just so beautiful. It was like breathtaking. Yeah. It was just another level, you know, like a beauty. It was just crazy. It was crazy. So let's see, where are we? Then I went up to Stuttgart to visit a friend and then I went up to Frankfurt again. We packed our things, we started driving. So then the first stop was La Canon and we arrived and we didn't know this, but it was, um, there was like a surfing competition, skating competition. It was so cool that week. There were so many things going on of surfing. It was amazing it would be music and festivals and like there was like a movie of like surfing and it was just so cool and then we skated it was like perfect it was a really really good week and then we went down south to like Mimizan, um Anglet. we went down to um what is this place Capriton um and then it started raining it was gonna be raining for a few days and we were in a car like two girls in a car you know we cooked outside all the time it was crazy like i must say like living in a car it's a challenge like but it was so much fun it was like so much fun so we were like gypsies you know we we had some friends in hendai that it was close and we were like hey can we like crash into your house for like two days or something until the storm passes by so we did we went to hendai visit some friends and then my friend had it, uh, needed to go uh, to Frankfurt again. And I was like, well, I'm gonna just go to Portugal on my own. Like I wanted to see Portugal because it's one of my options to live there. And one of my other friends, she was like, hey, I'm gonna drive down south, I'll pick you up. So I was like van hopping in the car and stuff. It was, this one was more of a van. I mean, it was a van. I don't know, I, every day it was like, wow. Like I literally like manifested this, like, it sounds crazy, but I did. Like, I was like writing of like, oh my gosh, I woke up in, a, in the van, like we're gonna go surfing or whatever, or like, you know, just talking about living in a van. And it was like really cool and like really beautiful, you know, like, just like, wow, like I'm living my dream, you know, like I'm waking up and watching the sunrise like this, you know, in the van, like you wake up and like, it's just like, Oh wow, that's a nice sunrise. And then you go back to bed, you know, like really cool. And then we went down south because my friend also wanted to go to Portugal. So we slept in Salamanca. And then from Salamanca, we went to Peniche. Oh my gosh, Peniche. Like that place was so good. It was this tiny, tiny town, a bit of art. It was like, Perfect for surfing, the coast of Portugal. Poa. Like, guys, like it was it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And the sunsets and the sunrises in Portugal was just unbelievable. Like, Portugal has really good scenery, like in the coast. And we were like sleeping right at the surfing, like at the surf spot, and you would just wake up, check the waves, and then go back to bed. Like some of the spots, because like of parking and stuff like you cannot sleep there or it's hard or whatever but um it was really really nice so we stayed there 
and it was just like really inspiring like the rocks were just like so beautiful then then we went to Ericera, Lisbon and in Lisbon we separated and then I was traveling with my board and my backpack and it was just a bit of a challenge so I just stayed in Lisbon for a bit and then um, I went down south to Sagres and Sagres was amazing I stayed there for like two weeks it was so cool I met so many cool people I saw a lot of like good karma like with food it was like so strange like I would give something to someone and then like another day that I was like starving I would receive food like randomly or like you know like I saw that a lot with food it was like super weird but yeah some like I met so many amazing people that really like touch your heart like really really touch your heart and you're like wow like I want to be like you like just people that really like reflect the like sun you know like reflect light and, and make you want to be a better person in general and then from Sagres I went to Sri Lanka and in Sri Lanka it was really nice a beautiful country but it was hard being a woman in that country it was hard uh, and in Sri Lanka oh my gosh like the oh wow like the sunsets like it was unexplainable like you would you would be surfing and they, like you would be surrounded by turtles and then from Sri Lanka I went to Indonesia and I was surfing in Lombok and it was so beautiful too like just being able to drive the scooter and just be able to like move and drive in the scooter was just so cool um, and then there I really like stayed in one place for a month and that was like I like this you know I like making friends I like getting to know the vegetable lady you know in the corner and like know her name you know what I mean like I just like to be in one place like I feel like I'm a slow traveler like I don't do things to like a bucket list I do things because like going with the flow and see how I feel and, and you know like I once met this guy and he was like you have to leave one place when you're at the peak you know when when you're having the best time that's when you have to leave and I was like what and he was like yeah you cannot leave when you're having a bad time because you you're not yet on the good time you know you, you haven't experienced all the good things and I was like that's so interesting like I did apply it after from Indonesia I went to Singapore saw my parents and then from Singapore to Thailand I saw my cousin a lot of family <laughs> and then in Thailand um I got stuck in this like amazing island of rock climbing. I met some people and it was amazing. Like we were rock climbing and stuff. It was just so cool to try a different thing. Cause I was like traveling the whole year for surfing. In Thailand, there's no surfing. So I was like, okay. So I was like, why not? Let's try something else. You know, why not? And I ended up meeting amazing people and just like getting to know a different sport. Like I feel like it's so beautiful. Then from Thailand I went to Philippines and in Philippines it was like my last month before Barcelona. And yeah, Philippines was amazing. There was so much beautiful nature. That's when I really took my camera everywhere. Just took like a lot of pictures and like really enjoy the people and stuff and stay in some places for quite some time and it was just really really cool I met some people that were like what are you doing why are you traveling so much like are you going back to work like when are you working and like all these things and I was like I feel like I'm growing per seconds you know like like I feel like travelers sometimes like just like we're so used to change and stress and like all these things I mean of course it's a different type of stress than work and like the city but I feel like you see the world in a different way and you grow in a different way you even like smile to strangers in a different way like when i was in sri lanka like i was like walking in the street and like women would smile at you and it would be like wow like i have never seen this type of smile like this just a, like genuine smile it was just like this pure like transparent beautiful smile and i had a friend and i asked her i was like you guys smile I, I cannot explain it like in a very like beautiful way like I can it's like they're hugging you and she was like yeah it's a way of like welcoming you to our country and that just like stayed with me like wow I think I don't know how to smile to strangers like I don't know and then I tried it and then I got like really nice responses I just feel like in general like I grew so much as a person this second part of the year was quite interesting and then coming back to work it was just like 
all of these crazy ideas came up to me and like just thinking about the ocean so much. In Indonesia, there was like a lot of trash in the ocean and like I started to investigate about that and like it basically surfers were like the pioneers, the pioneers, that were the first ones to basically like protest about like the trash in the ocean and just be like, hey, like our playground is full of trash. Like nobody wants to be in a playground where it's full of trash. I mean, come on. So yeah, it's just a really, really interesting. Um, and with surfing, it was amazing. Like I had so many good sessions. I met so many crazy people that really like pushed me out of my comfort zones in the ocean. And yeah, just like trusting yourself and being out there and going alone and doing things alone and, and really like listen to your heart and your gut and everything. Um, but yeah, I really recommend to anybody out there, like just like get out of the city, do something different this weekend, do something different that day. Don't stick to the routine. I feel like routine kill us. Like keep it, you know, keep it sassy. So that's it for today. Hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I know this video was like super personal and stuff, but I also want to share it, you know? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know down in the comments if you guys like this type of content. Okay, peace.